It's Melton Metal Anthony with another video for you. We're gonna be making the ramps that are existing for this trailer into flip down ramps for my neighbor. Currently, if you wanna get the ramps out, you have to pull the pin and then slide the ramps out of the side. You gotta get them out. And then you gotta lift them. You gotta bring them over here. And then you gotta set them where you want and then you can drive your vehicle onto the trailer. Well, my neighbor is retirement age, and he is goddamn sick of lifting these ramps, and I don't blame him, because it's a pain in the ass for me, too. The first thing I'm going to do is nip the round stock away from these brackets, so that way I can slide the pipe on once I have it welded to the ramp. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and protect the lights, because I don't want to buy new lights for this guy. I'm just going to take this old leather smock I keep around, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to tuck it up underneath here, and I'm just going to lay it up and rest it right here, so that way we don't burn his lights up. We also have these marker lights we need to worry about. For this, I'm just gonna tape an old worn out glove in front of the marker light. And that should get us to where we need to go. So as you can see, we've got it separated. Now that's enough for me to shove that piece back in there. And the same thing on this side. You see we got a pretty clean cut. I'm pretty happy with that. So it looks like I'm gonna need to cut a little bit more just to make this a little bit easier. Or actually put something in there and wedge it. I might be able to just take like a piece of wood and, and make a wedge. So let's try that first before we go to cutting more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this two by six down into a wedge. You can see it's kind of fucked up, but it should do our job. The next step is to trim this pipe up, get this little 45 that's on it off, and then cut it to length. Now that we've got our pipes cut to length, what we're going to go ahead and do is prep out this surface, get these squared up, weld them on. So I don't know if you guys caught me grinding the edges of this. And sure, it's very unlikely that anybody's going to stick their hand down there, but with any work you do, you need to make sure it's burr free. You do not want your customer getting cut. The next step, and probably the most critical one, is to get this aligned correctly. If it's cattywampus like that, the ramp is not going to function properly and the customer is not going to be happy. So what I'm going to do first is center it side to side. The pipe is not the same length as the piece here, just didn't have enough pipe. But this will be fine, it'll be plenty sufficient. And I want to get it about the same on each side. So it looks like we want this thing sitting about, honestly, sitting on the table. That's damn near perfect right there. Because we want it, the top of this about even with the bottom of this. So that way this thing sits in the same position it did when it was originally made. So I'm going to be using flux cord today to weld this. I'm using 035 inner shielded wire. I'm going to be using my whole bar 140 handler and I got it turned all the way up 300 inches per minute. So a quick little tip, if you tack where you're going to start, you're going to have a cold start and a lumped weld. So always tack where you're going to finish your weld. So I tacked at the top and then weld it uphill like you should when you're welding with flux core. Now let's go test fit this thing and make sure it's going to work out. all the way to the top of this. So I need to cut it off and put it in, the different, in a different position in order to make this work correctly. So that's why we always tack weld things and test them before we do anything. So I needed a spacer to work with in order to get this up to the height I needed. So I just took a piece of this hammered square stock and stuck it up underneath there. Happened to work out perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and tack this on again and then we're gonna test it one more time, hopefully. I might have to test it a few more times, you never really know.
I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. And um, we're going to finish this thing out with a stick welder. But I'm going to go tack the other ramp holder on to the other ramp. See, we got some really nice welds here. Really nice. Right. Looks pretty good. Just the rest of the way out with my stick welder, just a little easier to deal with rather than carrying that mate because, well, I'm lazy. I'm going to be using Tartan B from Rock Mount as the root and Polaris A as the cap. This is comparable to your 6010, this is comparable to your 7018, but with way higher tensile strength. This one's 80,000, this one is 95,000. So, really overkill for this, but this is what I carry nowadays ever since uh, Rock Mount started supporting your boy. upright and I'm gonna go ahead and pull a measurement so I can make some latches for this thing so it looks like two foot is gonna be the ticket for us so I'm gonna up that figure by about two inches and make it 26 inches just in case so now I need to drill quarter inch holes to fit these pins in now I need to make a dimple so that my drill bit doesn't wander on this round piece of steel. And for that, I'm going to use this cool spring-loaded center punch. If you're interested in these, the link to one is down in the description below. I don't want to put it too close to the edge, but I don't want to put it too far either. And it made a nice little dimple just like it's supposed to. And I'm going to be using my laser best cutting fluid. This is by far my favorite cutting fluid I've found. So now that I've got these all drilled out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put these up on here, kind of eyeball an inch in, eyeball them at center, and then just trace this out real quick. all prepped out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tack it together. Guys, here's the final product. You can see the welds came out pretty good. I'll clean that up a little bit better here in a minute. We got a weld down there. Um, everything's latched together. It all looks good. All the welds are tight. Again, I need to get in there. Needed my needle scaler back, but mine's broken. But it looks really good, and it works. All right, guys. If you like what you saw here today, my name's Melton Metal Anthony. Like, subscribe, share, and if you didn't like it, remember, go fuck yourself. And if you really want to support me, go ahead, head over to meltonmetal.com, buy yourself a t-shirt, a hat, do what you can for your boy. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And another one done. <laughs>